today is the unboxing of the six cent sack for the month of February. Pretty stuck to buy getting this. I have yet to see what's inside it. So let's, without further ado, let's dig into it. All right. Ta-da. Oh, look at that. Spinner baits, trailer hooks. Really nice trailer hooks for the uh, spinner baits. Definitely use this. You can use it on a uh, buzz bait as well. But definitely look into using this as a three out hook. And there's a five quantity of five in there that you can get. So, oh, there we go. This is new, ladies and gentlemen. This is the Duke 55. This is nice. It's a lipless crankbait. Three eighths ounce. Chrome black back. Look how tiny it is. I like it. That's nice. Very nice. Very nice colors. Heck yeah. Sweet. I finally got something new. This is uh, definitely new into my arsenal. And right now, it is a lipless season. That transition between winter to spring time frame. You know it's transition season. Next up is a jerk bait. This is a deep diving SDD Provoke 106 deep diving silent jerk bait. I like that. Just to make sure. Slow float suspending looks like a a shad. I like that. That's nice. Premium hooks as always. This here is going to be your ghost bone minnow. I love the provoke. I love jerkbait season. And of course you want to use that jerkbait during this time as well. But that silent for that pressure water and those pressure fish. Next up is the Crush Mini 25 MD, quarter ounce, dives four to seven feet. This color is Threadfin Shad. There you go. Look at that. Nice little color, quarter ounce. Weight to it. Like I said, dives four to seven feet. Obviously, depending on how far you cast it and when you reel it back in. Threadfin Shad, which is a gray color. Again, during that transition period, getting to those humps and those secondary points and that main length points as they start going up toward the feeding frenzy. Next up is the Copper Green Shad. Movement 80X, dies one to three feet, five eighths ounce. Nice little, kind of like a little white bait. Got that little weight back there. And wants to move. That's a, that's a nice little wake bait. The Movement 80X. I have yet to use those, so I can't tell you how well they are, but green shad. Do you notice the shad pattern? Next up is the, I love this worm. It's a shaky worm, 6.3 inch. You get a 10 count. There you go. And it's going to be that cosmic black, very beautiful color and until moves in the background. Last but not least, and again, my I just freaking bought this one. Just freaking bought it. This is the one I cut my PB on. Yes, sir. 
I caught my PB on this chartreuse flash spinnerbait, divine spinnerbait. Again, like I said, PB on this one particular, this one. I lost the blade after that fish and I lost it. So I bought one already from the uh, from the expo center and I bought that. So hand tight skirt, screw lock, nice swivels, right? Wire right bracing, <coughs> excuse me. I take on the back of this here, I put a swim bait or a paddle tail swim bait on the back of there. That's what I caught my PB last year in Lake Monroe. Uh, fishing with my brother, 411, 412 is what I got. So off this spinner bait, I love these spinner baits. I'm a spinner bait guy. This is what I like to do. This one, I like to slow down a lot. I like to throw this, I like to throw some other stuff. Uh, Duke 55 is a great thing. The Provoke is a really good thing in that clear water along with Silent. Surprisingly, you could probably use it in little bit of stain water not so much as like uh you know where visibility is like three to four feet i imagine you can use that same thing but but this right here i absolutely is a chartreuse flash half ounce divine swim bait excuse me divine spinner bait put a swim bait on the back of that and go to town caught my pb can't catch yours so, we'll go back through what it is. Obviously, this is one of my favorites, right, in this bag. This bag is a banger, though. I got a lot of good ones here. This one is another one I absolutely love. I love fishing the shaky head. I love fishing low and slow, right? So there, you got the Divine Shaky Worms at 6.3 inch, right? Never used this, but I would like to try it. It's a Movement 80X. This is one to three feet. This is a copper green shad. Fantastic. Beautiful color to it. This one here, I just looked at one similar to this that I had to take the hooks off because they were all broke. This is a Crush Mini 25 MD. So it's that mid depth range. It's a thread fin shad. Beautiful color. Then you got, of course, you had the spinner bait in here. Here's what you got. You got these spinner bait trailer hooks. These are three out hooks. These go in the back of your spinner bait. You can also use them back on a buzz bait. So don't let nobody fool you. Sometimes that buzz bait is, that's what you need to do. The new, new and improved. I've never had one of these. This is something I'm going to try. This is a chrome black back. Uh, Duke 55, your lipless crankbait at 3 8 ounce. It's a smaller size, you know, so 55 millimeter versus a 65 or a 75, right? So, and then of course, again, my favorite besides all of this stuff in the bag, I really like to have a jerkbait, and this is a deep diving. It's a Provoke 106 SDD. It's your silent deep diving jerk bait, slow float or suspend depending on water temperature. This dives four to seven feet. It's a five eighths ounce. And this one here is a ghost bone minnow. Man, this is a banger. This bag here is legit for this month. I like this month. This month bag was probably the best bag in a while. Granted, they do a lot of other uh, things. So, you know, uh, of course you're gonna get some duplicates and stuff like that, but I can't believe, I, I absolutely love that bag. Um, again, that is for the month of February. We're getting close to February, getting ready to go into March. Got to get this boat done, so. But that's all I got for the video. I need to get working on my boat. As always, God bless. Tablines, we are out of here. Deuces.